Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48's World. Yes, and I am Deb Chanel. Get into it. Okay, I want to thank all my subscribers, all my new ones, my old ones, and my soon to come over subscribers. Okay, and we're going to be talking about a story that found its way on AtlantaBlackStar.com. Yes, again, that was AtlantaBlackStar.com. Uh, Tia Berger is over there being one of the correspondents, breaking out these salacious, slanderous type of um, videos or articles being written up on uh, the Atlanta Black Star platform. She gives her title as, It Was Pretty Itty, with the S going first. Cynthia Bailey addresses Kenya Moore about ruining her surprise proposal. Okay. Now, we already know it's been several stories done out there, and I've done several stories as well, as the feelings of what people felt about what Kenya did. I had a Candy Burr's side. I had a somewhat Cynthia side. I have a Kenya Moore side. And everybody else that wanted to chime in on how... Um, Kenya Moore displayed herself on calling herself having premonitions or intuitions about things are going to happen. Okay, we already know that's fake, fraudulent, fuckery, and foolishness. Okay, my four F's, and we're just going to leave it at that. But getting on into this article that was written, it goes on to read, Cynthia Bailey sets the record straight for once and for all about where she currently stands with Bestie Kenya Moore. Okay, a few episodes ago, Real Housewives of Atlanta viewers accused Moore of sabotaging Bailey's big moment after she hinted to the bride-to-be that her fiancé, Mike Hill, would be proposing to her. Um, although the former Miss USA apologized for her actions, many fans felt she did it on purpose because of their own relationship or because of her own relationship woes with the strange husband, Mark Daly. I concur. Okay, uh, going back to the article, it said it all boiled down to what Bailey thought and she believed her past friend tried to ruin her special moment. Well, I would say this. I mean, at the end of the day, Kenya is my friend. Okay, I'm like, girl, okay, that's what you call a friend. I hate to see your enemies then, so keep your friends even closer than you would your enemies because they're going to turn around and bite you behind in the butt and then you're going to be like, oh, well, I thought she was my friend, but I guess not. You know, you're going to be making sly comments like that, which we don't want to hear after the fact, after people have been definitely coming to your platform platform on social media and just chiming in with you being on social media and watching several vlogging sites tell you Kenya is not your friend but I guess the proof is not in the pudding you have to give her a long rope to be able to strain herself up and choke herself before you believe it but that's just you Cynthia all of us can see and hear what's going on but I don't know when you'll wake up but anyway that was my sidebar not in the article going back to the article it says um I really don't think she Really wanted to ruin my proposal, Bailey said on Andy Cohen's Sunday, January 5th episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. It was pretty itty for her to tell me that I was going to be proposed to, but you know what? She made a mistake. Cynthia, it was not a mistake. It was a planned thing that she came in with true intentions on premeditatedly to expose and to give you a heads up that Mike was going to propose. Whether he did or not, it's not even relevant. It's just that the fact that it came out of her mouth in the inappropriate time. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Going back to the article, it said, During the show, Moore seemingly doubled down on her actions after claiming she foreseen Bailey getting proposed to that day. Well, she can see that. Why can't you see what Mark Daly was doing to you? I was going to do to you since you have these premonitions. Okay, I'm just saying, Kay, I'm just saying. Uh, my sidebar, not in this article. Going back to the article, it said it is what it is. It is what it is. And in her defense, she does have her Miss Cleo moments where she can kind of predict the future a little bit. But for me, at this point in my life with friendships, if you made a mistake, you make a mistake. The model ad is not a deal breaker. Well, we all knew Miss Cleo was fake, fraudulent, foolish, and full of fuckery. So that's what you're trying to say Kenya is, girl. I'm just saying. You said she was having one of Miss Cleo's moments. So 
Okay, my pun intended, not in this article. It goes on to say, Bailey went on to say that she doesn't think Moore was jealous of her proposal, although several viewers felt differently. I think her situation is completely separate from mine, said Bailey. I mean, she wants her relationship to work. I want her relationship to work. At the end of the day, I still stand by the fact that I believe that Kenya is my friend. Even though she was a bad friend at the proposal, she is my friend. Several fans have mixed reactions to 52-year-old interview. Um, Kenya is 100% Cynthia's friend. Kenya made a stupid mistake. Hell, we all make mistakes. Get over it. Twirl on that. That was a commenter. Another commenter wrote, Kenya was so jealous. You know she tried to ruin your engagement. I wish she stopped defending her. Meaning this commenter was saying she wished Cynthia would stop defending her and just look at Kenya Moore's actions as they prevail. Uh, to her when she sees her around her and she does crazy, stupid, unthoughtful things uh, towards Cynthia and in Cynthia's environment. Okay. Another commenter wrote, Good for you, Cynthia. Every friendship is different. A lot of time, a lot of time in Real Housewives of Atlanta, they cut people off after one dumb mistake. Kenya made a mistake. Okay. Kenya made a mistake also. This is my sidebar with ruining uh, Marlo's event. Her head, wig, her head wig event, you know what I'm saying? Was that a mistake? I think not. Okay, going back on, it said, more alluded to the backlash she received in an Instagram post on December 22nd and wrote tonight uh, on all of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, to the future, Mrs. Hill gets engaged. No one is happier than her than me. A lot of pettiness happens between us this season, but no one can come between us. Okay, and that was pretty much the end of the article. But like I said, Cynthia Bailey's going to deal and do whatever somebody tells her to feel on a particular subject. You know, Mike can tell her one thing. She get mad. She go and confront Kenya. To me, it wouldn't have been for Mike to say anything because once Kenya would have told me that, I would have set her straight. I said, you got me all on pins and needles. What if this man don't propose to me? Then I'll be mad at you thinking you had your so-called premonition or intuition he was going to do. I was going to call you on your blood. Da -da 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 -da. It's just foul that you did it. it. It wouldn't have taken another day to go by me tell Mike what went on, then Mike tell me what I should do about it. Or give me his input on why did she do that and this, that, and the third. And why possibly he told Cynthia why you didn't check her on point. You know what I'm saying? So, it's always, always, always with Cynthia after the fact. It's not when she actually going through the stuff, she get people straight. That's the only thing I can't stand about Cynthia. And then she's trying to show us that she's supposed to be this newfound person that we get to see a side of her coming out uh making herself known that nobody's gonna run over her you know solidifying herself in her total truth where she gets people together when the shit is happening and not after the fact you know she can't even you know stand up to nini to this fact even last episode you know it's like she wanted to say something to nini but nini just spoke and went on right past her see i'm like okay I could sense you wanted to say something. The world probably could sense it as well if they were truly paying attention to that particular scene when Nene just saw you in the room and walked right past you, didn't care uh, to hold a conversation with you. You were not in her eyesight at the time. I mean, you and uh, Nene in the past used to give each other love, hugs, and all this kind of good camaraderie camaraderie going around but now it's just like y'all just cordial with one another it is what it is so i'm like pick and choose your battle cynthia but come out and be standing firm you didn't do it in 2019 i don't anticipate you doing it in 2020 but if you want to have some insight work on yourself don't care too much about what uh kenya is doing out there and any other other cast members here not even your future husband be yourself understand yourself understand your triggers and let it be known that you are Cynthia Bailey. You're roaring out here. Because we don't hear you, baby. We still don't hear you. Not over here at Dale Chanel's 40s world. But I'm going to let my family get into it. I'm going to let them weigh in in the comment section. And tell me what they felt about this situation. Were you on solid ground? Was this your own? Uh, were you taking your own stance of viewpoints of looking at how Kenya had did you? Uh, with Trying to say she had an intuition that Mike was going to propose. And you didn't like it. Mike didn't like it. But 
it seems like you were just going with it until Mike probably had something to say after the fact. Then you want to say something after the fact. <sighs> Not a cool look, Cynthia. But I'll let my fam weigh in and see what they think. See if they thought totally different than what I thought. Okay? And let the consensus prevail itself. All right? But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all be uh, loving on each other. Love on yourself as well. And I'll see you next video. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. Okay? Peace and blessings.